Hi, I'm Father John. And Father Nelson. And papunta kami ngayon kay sa mga Blanco uh, family of uh, yes. artists. Yes. Uh, and we are your Travel Chaplain. of the family from the youngest to eldest. So, uh, we are nine in the family including my mom and dad. So, the late Jose Pito Blanco and the uh, late uh, Nanay Lorin. Okay. So, basically, this is one of the uh, projects of the family. Uh, this particular painting is hanged in one of the uh, altar in somewhere in Valenzuela. Okay. So, basically, this is the uh, entire family doing this particular painting. Okay. So basically, there's a story behind this painting. Uh, one time, uh, there's this two couple went to uh, this particular church, and sad to say, that would be their last uh, mass together as husband and wife. They decided to uh, go separate ways for a reason of uh, I think their uh, one of their uh, child uh, passed away. So one, uh, they decided to go to this church and then uh, they just pray. They just pray there. Um, while praying, they uh, glanced to this uh, painting in the uh, altar. And then, uh, surprisingly, they saw one of the uh, image there, angel. And then, happened to be, it appears really identical to their child. So, um, after, after that, they approached the parish priest. They asked who's the uh, uh, what you call artist behind the uh, mural. And then they told them that uh, they decided to separate ways, but because of this painting, they decided to uh, live together. So, uh, the uh, parish priest told us that story that according to him, even a painting could uh, uh, create a miracle, so that, that's the uh, story behind that thing. So let's go, let's go inside. During the olden days here in Angono, most of the names are from religious names like Jose, Maria, Pedro, Juan, something like that. So for example, a person uh, fell in a tamarind tree or some palo. Uh, for example, the name is Pedro, so he will be called Pedrong Sampalok, something like that. So since our great-grandfather is a fisherman, he is actually uh, a bald and, uh, and he has uh, this huge stomach. After fishing, he usually lies on his uh, boat. So in a way, his friends uh, called him Juan Bungan. Bungan meaning dead fish. So you know, uh, a fish when it dies, it floats upside down. So 
it resembles uh, a dead fish, his uh, characteristics. So he was called Kuan Bungan. So instead of being ashamed of that uh, uh, pet name, my father even created this particular logo. So ever since we used this logo, uh, for our clan, uh, the Blancos, we are from that uh, Juan Bungan. Okay. So I'm the youngest, so we'll be seeing some of my works here. So again, my name is Peter Paul Blanco and I started to paint when I was 11 months old. So one of my first paintings are this one. Those are my first works when I was 11 months. And then here are some of my works when I turned 3 years old, 4 years old, and 5 on, your, on the other side. And these particular paintings are my impression of China. Okay? Because uh, as you can see, uh, as we go along to the uh, tour, Musi, uh, to the uh, to the tour, uh, you can notice that we have similar subject but different approach on it or take on it. Uh, one of the reason behind that is we usually travel as a family. So, for example, this is the, uh, one of the scene in China, and then basically later on you'll see another one from my uh, another version from my sister, from my brother. So. There you go. So, for example, we also uh, visited this uh, place called uh, Lukban, uh, the festival in Lukban. So, we have different takes on it also. So, when I turned seven years old, this is one of my work. Yes. <laughs> this is also seven when I turned seven. When I turned eight, this is an example of my work. And when I turned 10, this is uh, one of the uh, painting I did. That's the Yakan uh, of Basilan. And in the family collection, this is the uh, latest work that I did. Uh, I painted it when I was, uh, I think, uh, 99, so 20. 19, 19, 19 years old. This one, 19, and this one, 14. 14 years old? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and these are the works of my sister, Gay. She loves a uh, modern child. Uh, ano po kayo? Uh, nine po kami sa pamilya. So, uh, seven magkakapatid at uh, kasama ng nanay at tatay. So, siyam po. Tapos lahat po nagpe-paint. So, yan. So, yan. Moriones Festival. Look at this particular painting. He, she painted this when she was uh, 14 years old. And these are the works of my brother, Jan. Uh, he loves uh, actually feathered creatures. So, you, as you can see um, later on on the uh, museum collection, uh, he's really into birds. He's really into birds. So. We'll have a look at that later. Then, his, this is his painting. At age 12, that is painting. How uh, many months ago? I'm not sure. Because in our family, we were trained to paint uh, regardless of the time. Uh, what matters most is when you sign your painting, you're really happy with it. So, it doesn't really... Uh, matter if you painted this one like two to three months, something like that. Yeah. But for me, when I paint um, a size like 18 by 24, it usually uh, takes me uh, around a month. Yeah, 18 by 24. Age seven, he painted that one. Age eight, when he was 12, he painted this one. And this one, he painted this one when he was uh, 15 years old. The title of this painting is Peter Paul. 
because that's me <laughs> right there. Actually, I still remember this particular scene. Uh, I was told by my brother to hold his rooster. Basically, this is his pets. So, uh, I remember this part, but without this. So anyway, I was just uh, sitting down like that and then he started to sketch, do a study. And then after a day, uh, he transferred that particular study into the uh, canvas. And then while he was doing this, he was really adding this one. So at the age of 15, he painted that one. This particular painting is uh, entitled Smoky Mountain. Smoky Mountain. Yes. Actually, that particular dog, he's the one uh, that only uh, bridge us to this world. Because as you can see, everyone is uh, really busy doing their thing, but uh, there's a dog here that actually connects our world, world to them. Um, he painted this uh, particular scene in the time where uh, I think the government is trying to um, uh, do a housing project, something like that in this particular area. Uh, but then again, the message of uh, my brother for this particular painting is that uh, what would happen to their livelihood, something like that, if that happens. So uh, the dog is like uh, telling us to back off, something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, ginawa siyang cover dun sa uh, Smoky Mountain na uh, album ni national artist Ryan Caribbean, Mr. Ryan Caribbean. It's a singing group. So, 28 years old. He painted that when he was uh, 28 years old. Uh, Big Nai. Yan, Big Nai. Yeah. Uh. Another uh, message of this particular painting is, as you can see, there's a, an ecosystem here. Birds, uh, insects, something like that, living together in, in harmony. And then all of a sudden, there's uh, two young men here who's trying to cut down trees to, uh, to turn it into charcoal. Uh, or in Filipino, magkakaingin. So one of the message here is what would happen to the environment if people would keep on doing that. So that's his message, actually. Big Nai. And he painted that when he was 28 years old. So this particular painting is another scene from China. And, mm -hmm. So these are the works of my sister Joy. And she's the uh, fourth from the eldest. And she loves to paint children. So as you can see, one of her paintings here it's more of a ch children, child. Yeah. This particular painting is entitled Handog Kay San Isidro. Uh, she painted this when she was uh, 17 years old. Again, we have similar subjects but uh, different uh, uh, interpretation on a particular scene. Again, reason behind that is uh, we usually travel as a family. Then he painted this one when he was 12 years old using watercolor, this one. Yeah, age of 12. And another scene in Batanes naman, this one. He painted that when he was uh, 38 years old. 
eruption of my own volcano. And this is the portrait of my uh, grandfather. He's actually a fisherman and my grandmother is a vendor, market vendor. Uh, Noel is second from the uh, eldest. So, and also he loves to paint um, uh, anything that has reflections, particularly seascapes. Yeah. So this is one of his uh, latest work. Mayan volcano. And behind us, right here, this, is, uh, this particular painting is actually his thesis to my uh, father, to my dad. Uh, because in our family, we're also like uh, a class. Yeah, and my uh, my dad is our teacher, and uh, we are um, in the family we're co uh, students. So before we graduate to uh, under the uh, umbrella of my dad, we should be able to create and defend a thesis. So this is uh, his thesis to my dad. But what if Mr. Ronnie Salinas uh, gets engrossed with your painting, and he would like to buy that painting? Oh, oh, actually, all of the, uh, what do you call this, works in the family collection is not for sale. Uh, this is actually uh, uh, our way of sharing our works to the community. So, just for example, one of you would like to have something like this. Uh, perhaps my brother would create similar to this, but not identical to this. One of the reasons behind that is, uh, actually here in the Philippines, we have lots of uh, festivals, cultures that needs to be placed in a particular painting. And um, to create uh, a duplicate, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think you, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. This particular painting uh, entitled Gantungan, uh, uh, basically it is a, a place where the boat usually uh, rests after uh, the fisherman is done with it. However, he painted this when he was 17 years old. And this particular scene is very typical in Laguna Lake every morning after fishing. Glenn, he is the eldest in the family. I mean, uh, in the siblings. Yeah. And that particular painting is his thesis to my dad, that one. And later on, you'll see that particular scene in the heart of the museum, uh, in the garden. You can see that particular scene. And he loves to paint uh, vegetations, greeneries. Yeah. Um, Nanay Loring, this is the work of Nanay Loring. So, as you can see, the subject matter is more into the eyes of a mother. So, the uh, grandchildren, the apo, the kitchen, uh, elderly. Yeah. So that, uh, for example, we saw a particular uh, image and we really like it. We started to uh, do a study. However, for example, uh, we don't have any uh, sketching materials with us. Uh, actually, we were trained by my father to paint even without photographs. So basically, in our family, we, when we paint, we don't use photographs. We only use the photographs in our mind. So actually, it's a, it's a skill that uh, can be taught also. Anyway, uh, how is it done? It's like, for example, you, saw, uh, you see a particular uh, scene and it really strikes you in your heart, in your mind. Uh, basically, even if you're not there, you can still see it. Uh, everything is still fresh, even if you're far away from that particular scene. So that's how we usually do it. So, so, uh, so that's it. <laughs> Actually, I really love this, uh, what he told us before. I am just a brush in the hand of our Lord. Without His guidance, I can paint nothing. So behind His uh, uh, mastery of, of His craft, uh, He's still uh, uh, acknowledging the, that particular talent is from God. So I really love this one.
and he is uh, even he's the one who even wrote this one handwriting of my dad and these particular paintings are actually stolen here in the family collection uh, way back april 25th uh, year 2001 so most of the uh, uh, paintings here are from his plates, early works, college plate. Yeah. Yes. From your right to left, those are his early paintings. Uh, really influenced by the uh, national artist Carlos Botong Francisco. Uh, actually, Carlos Botong Francisco is his uh, godfather. So, uh, at his early works, there's actually a huge influence of uh, Carlos Botong's uh, work or style. But basically, he wants to have his own identity. He wants to have his own style. So, there's this particular painting. Uh, for some reason, for security reason, it's uh, actually upstairs. Um, his Ninong or Godfather told him not to use or don't combine these two colors or particular sets of colors. But what he did was he uses those. He combined those colors. And then from there, he, uh, he even created this particular painting called Habagat. While his Ninong uh, created Amihan. And then from there, he developed a different style. And from that particular style, he ended up with this one. So this is Celestine, uh, my eldest. He's, uh, uh, she's five years old. And later on in our group tour, you can see her work as well. So basically, this particular painting is uh, painted by my dad, Jose Pito Blanco. He painted this when he was uh, 58, uh, 57 years old. And the title of this is Paul at 8. Um, that's me right there. And that's a shrimp. <laughs> so basically, uh, this is also typical in uh, Laguna Lake. This particular scene is typical there. Uh, we're in basically early morning, usually, uh, the mother usually. Uh, goes to the uh, lake shore to pick up the uh, fishes caught by my uh, uh, caught by uh, her husband and no one would take care of this child so what usually happens is they drag their kids in the lake and then uh, they use their uh, basket to uh, use as for sleeping purposes but when the uh, fisherman arrives, uh, this will be filled by fishes with the catch. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there. So this particular painting is uh, the tribute of my dad to uh, the town Angono. So this is the. Uh, Angon Town Fiesta in honor of St. Clement. So, uh, this happened every November 23rd. So, all of the faces that you can see here is from Angono. They're all from Angono. And there are even images that um, even a photograph haven't taken uh, from that particular person. So, uh, what usually uh, they're Great grandkids do is they go here to see their great grandfather through this mural. So again, every faces are from Angono. He even uh, actually go to their places to each of every one of these to have a study. Yeah. Me here. Can you spot the other three? This is one. Yes, good job. That's two right there. Two more. Yes, that's me <laughs> right there holding the uh, flowers of the water hyacinth. And lastly, this one. Yeah, there are four of me. Actually, I was uh, asking my, 
my dad if he can include me somewhere there and he told me ah, that's enough <laughs> too much <laughs> e, that's the painting of my dad um, happened during the Japanese time uh, war second world war so um, what happened during that time is uh, my father and my grandfather they'll be going somewhere out of town and then all of a sudden they saw this particular person looking for a um, uh, for looking for a place where he can buy medicines so my grandfather and my dad showed the way where he could buy those medicines however when they went back in Angono everyone is in chaos uh, they found out that that particular person was murdered here in Angono why because he was found to be pro-Japanese forces. So uh, the people in Gono killed that particular person and Japanese forces, uh, they're really mad about what happened. They went to the town of Angono and then burned the town. So the uh, people in Angono, uh, one of the escape area would be the Laguna Lake. That's why you can uh, see water high since there. But uh, actually, that particular time, uh, I think my father's around uh, 13 years old. So what he remember was, he sat on the floor and started crying. So that one, yeah, that's him actually. But he uses me as a model. Uh, he uses the present time uh, for the model, for, uh, for that particular scene. Uh, that's him right there behind the boat. That's his age when he painted this. But as he remembered the event, he was like that. San Isidro. San Isidro Labrador. Usually, um, uh, what you call this, transfer a study from uh, a sketch pad to the uh, actual canvas. I usually look at this, the study. And then while he was doing this, I saw a child uh, on that particular area. So what I did was, I put a mask on and I tried to put myself in. <laughs> so <laughs> that's me actually there. Uh, this particular painting right here is entitled Picnic Salawa. So Actually, this particular painting is a commissioned painting for my father, Jose Pitok Blanco. So, uh, when he's done with the painting, he presented this to the, uh, to the uh, collector. And then, um, one of the note here is, uh, who would go to a picnic wearing like this? And there are even uh, old ladies at... Uh, oops. Don't touch it. Don't do that. <laughs> so anyway, so anyway uh, he, he painted this way. So he, he depicted the uh, title, um, the title Picnic Salawa, like this. So basically, uh, the bottom line is um, uh, the collector didn't like this one. And then my father told the story behind this that happened to be this is the only painting that he uh, was in, inspired by the uh, works of uh, Jose Rizal. There's a novel, uh, one of the uh, chapters there, uh, Noli, is it Noli, right? Noli Metangere, we're in uh, about Elias, Picnic Salawa, like that. And then when the uh, uh, collector found that, that he wanted to get this one, but my father say, uh, told them that it's not for sale <laughs> So this is one of the, uh, his uh, works inspired by Jose Rizal's work. This is the last painting in the uh, collection of the family about uh, the works of my dad. So this is entitled Huling Salo Salo or The Last Supper. So basically one of the questions here is uh, who is Christ? here in this uh, scene. Yeah, we, we can say that that could be him, that could be this person, this could, uh, yeah. Uh, however, for my dad, uh, it's up to us. 
uh, because for him, uh, for as long as you can see goodness, purity, love in that particular person, you can uh, see or you can reflect Christ in that particular person. And also, yeah. Who is the Judas? Yeah, actually, uh, same thing, same thing for my dad. However, there's a joke here. This could be Judas because everyone is contented with his share. This one is going for a second round. <laughs> He's greedy. <laughs> yeah. But, th but then again, there's uh, another joke that this could be Judas because he was like saying, Dito na me. <laughs> Get him na. <laughs> Stay extinct. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these are the uh, things used in fishing by my dad and my uh, grandfather. And on the other side, those are the things used uh, in farming. Ngayon po, kasama namin si Kuya Michael, no? Kuya Michael Blanco, si Father Nelson. No? Pangilan ba si Kuya Michael? Pangilan na po ba kayo? Pangatlo po ako sa panganay. Pangatlo sa panganay. Pangatlo sa panganay. Kasi ang panganay si Glenn, tapos si Noel, tapos si Michael, si Joy, si Jan, si Gay, tapos si Peter Paul. Ah, uh, Gusto namin kasi po malaman yung ano, paano ba nagsimula ito. Ito museum yung ito. Museum? Yes. Bali, ito pong museum nag-start nung... Siyempre, nag-design ng tatay sa J. Walter Thompson noong ano, 1971, tapos nag-full-time siya as an artist. Kasi doon niya na-discover na parang mas magandang i-express yung sarili niya sa kanya sariling artwork kaysa doon sa uh, advertising na dinidikta ng kliyente. So nagkaroon siya na parang freedom to express yes, yes, ano, himself to sa mga trabaho niya. Tapos po, uh, Naglagay siya ng ano, maliit na gallery sa loob ng museum. Ah, no, no. Maliit na gallery sa kanya studio. Hmm. Eh kaso, noong time po na yun, medyo lumalaki na rin kami. Yeah. Nagkataon na yung mga kapatid namin, unti-unti na rin nagpe-painting. Yeah. So, naisip ng tatay ko na maganda maglagay ng mas malaking gallery. Yeah. <laughs> gallery, yeah. gallery pa rin po noong una, hindi pa yeah. talaga ng museum. So, doon sa studio namin malaki, nakasabit na doon mga paintings namin. Yung mga, actually, buong, ano, buong from kuya hanggang kay, ano, hanggang kay, kay Gay. Kasi si Peter Paul, sumudod lang po, sumudod yeah. din. Nakala yeah, niya yeah. Gay, siya na bunso eh. Yeah. Tapos sumudod si, po, ano, si Paul. Pero nung dumadami po yung, ano, yung mga artworks namin, uh, nakita ng tatay ko na, magandang ano i-paint ang kultura at tradisyon ng mga Filipino. So nagkaroon kami ng ano parang isang mission na pagka magpe-painting kami, i-record namin sa mga paintings namin kung ano yung mga nakikita namin sa paligid. Na uh, magiging proud din ng mga Filipino at the same time uh, maipe-painting namin kung ano yung nangyayari ba sa farming, sa fishing, way of life ng mga Filipino. Then doon po nag-start ang museum. Dahil pa dami na pa dami mga paintings, uh, lumalaki yung studio namin. Hanggang yeah. sa ano, 1980, nagkaroon na break ang tatay. Uh, may nag, may pagwa po sa kanya si, ano, si Imelda Marcos ng painting about doon sa born exploit ni, Mar ni, yeah. ano, ni Marcos. Ano po yung tenyo, 1980s. So, ginawa ng tatay yun as part ng history ng ano po, doon sa war exploit. Pero, doon po yung time din na unti-unting itinayo na tatay ko yung museum. Ganun po. So, doon sa ground floor ng museum namin na nasa 300 square meters area, uh, nang design po nun, kawayan, tapos ang flooring, cobblestone. Ganun klase. Talagang batong buhay na yung yeah, yeah, yeah. tinitik-tik na ganyan. Uh -huh. Yan, ganda po ng ano, ng itsura ng museum dati. 
So, sa ground floor, yun yung mga paintings ng tatay. Sa second floor, yun po yung mga paintings ng ano, mga magkakapatid. Ah, kuya, kasi nakikita ko na ikumbaga sana ito yung pagkakataon na na-imprint sa inyo ito yung mga paintings, mga video. Uh, pero as a family man daw ngayon, kaya po may anak na asawa na ako. Ano yung may, siguro yung pinaka magandang bagay na nakita ko na naging na-impart sa inyo ng tatay niyo? Ay, yung pagtawag sa Diyos, napaka-importante po na. Kasi, ang turo sa amin ng, ng, ano, ng tatay at nanay, pwede kayong ano, maging successful sa pag, ano, pagtatrabaho ninyo. Pero, mas maganda, tsaka mas masaya, mas ma-feel mo yung, ano, yung lahat ng blessings kung lahat ng ginagawa mo para sa Diyos. Ganun po ang ano. Actually, kaya nga ang ano, ang tatay, lay minister dati sa church. Then, Naalala ko pa yun. Eh. In-encourage kami ng tatay na ano doon, uh -huh. na mag-join. Sa... So, naging lay minister, parang apuya ko, di ko po, ako, tsaka si Jan. Yeah. Pero, noong 20, ano, 2011, parang nag-stop po ako sa ano, pag-lay minister, pero ngayon, bumalik ko liya ako. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, iba, iba po talaga. Iba talaga pagka halimbawa, lahat ng ginagawa mo, para sa Diyos. Yun po yung pinaka-importante. At ngayon pong uh, linggong ito, ang akin namang pagninilayan ay mula po sa Gospel of St. John chapter 18 verses 33 to 37. And since uh, today we celebrate the Christ the King, so ang ating pong napiling verse ay So you are a king, Jesus answered. You say that I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I have come into the world to bear witness to the truth. Siguro isang napakaganda, lalo na sa ating pagninilay ngayon, ngayong na ating ginugunita ang pagkahari ni Jesus, ang magandang katanungan ni, Is Jesus the king of my life? Paano ba natin masasabi na talagang si Yesus ang nagahari sa ating buhay? Sa palagay ko po, ang pinakamagandang bagay na masasabi ho natin dyan, yung tayo po mismo na yung ating uh, iniisip, lahat ng ating sinasabi at ginagawa ay pawang patungo parati sa ating Panginoong Diyos. At higit sa lahat sa ating mga ginagawa, ito po ay bunga ng ating pagninilay na kung saan ang pagninilay na ito ay nakatoon para sa ating Panginoon. Ibig sabihin that what we pray and what we do is always in conformity to the will of God. Sabi nga eh, kung ang Diyos ay mahalaga sa iyo at siyang nagahari sa buhay mo, God must always be the priority in your life, in everything you do, be it uh, in thoughts, in words, and in deeds. Okay, pero... Maganda rin yung last na, uh, gusto ko yung pagnilayan mo din yung, ano, yung truth. Mm -hmm. Yes. Lagi pinagtatalo na ngayon ng truth. Oh, ano diba, ba ito? Oo, oh, ano nga ba ito? Truth? Kasi, uh -huh. ngayon, di ba, hindi kasi ngayon, nauso nga yung fake news. Yes. 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 Iba-iba po na yung nababasa, biglang uh -huh. papaniwalaan. Mm -hmm. You can create no, uh, maraming... Uh, maraming ito claim. Na rin. Yes. Oh, oh. Oh. Kanya-kanyang ano nga, sabi nga ano oh, nga sa kanya-kanyang oh. presentation ng data. Diba? Oh, may data siya. May data ka. Ano sino nga ba? Ang totoo. Oh, pero sa atin, ang truth kasi sa atin, based with this. Of course. Tapos siya yung hari. No? Kaya yung, kung siya yung hari, siya yung tutong din talaga natin. Yes. Siyempre. Yung, oh, mm -hmm. Kaya napakahalaga itong ginagawa natin ng Father Nelson. Yes. Yung pinag-inilayan natin yung salita ng Diyos. Yes. Hopefully, yung mga salita ng Diyos, yun mm -hmm. ang mag-ugat sa atin. Mm -hmm. Para yung papaniwalaan natin yung salita niya bilang hari, bilang ano, siya yung masusunod sa buhay natin. Mm -hmm. Sinasabi mo, we look back. Yeah. Kaya napakalaga. Kaya, ano, isang challenge sa society natin yun, no? na kung papaano nga yung, yung truth na to, papaano ba natin ito makukuha. And there are ways of papaano, sa, ba, mm -hmm. ikaw nag-aaral ka ngayon. Yes. So yung truth is by studying yung mga references, yes. diba, yung sources. Correct. 
Uh, yung mga sources mo ba ay credible, yeah. yung mga pinag-usapan. Ito pa yung scientific journal, mm-hmm. pinag-aralan ba ito, mm-hmm. nakagather ba ng data para sabihin na ito ay factual. Mm-hmm. Yeah, At sa atin, ang ultimate data is salita ng Diyos. Yes. Diba? That must be our, tina- tinatawag nga, blueprint in our life. Yes. Kasi pagka blueprint natin yan, eh, yun na alam na natin. Iba ka sa isang building. Mm-hmm. Pagka may blueprint ka, alam yun yung kalay- kalalabasan ng ano, eh, nung, nung, nung gusto mong ipagawa. Diba? Just like in our life, if God would be the, uh, if the word of God would be the fruit, uh, the blueprint in our life. Anong fruit? fruit? Hindi, <laughs> blueprint. <laughs> diba? So, alam mo kung ano yung yeah, yeah, tatahakin yeah. mo sa buhay. Diba? Kung magasana siya na yung hulmahan natin, yes. yung fruit, nag- magiging guide natin. Yes. Pero to get to that point, mm-hmm. mahalaga na information natin. Eh, diba? Uh-huh. Para malaman natin kung ano yung, yung uh-huh. nga ba, ano nga ba yung kulmahan na yun. Ano nga ba yung blueprint na yun? Yes. Pero sa akin, diba? para sa akin, ang talagang panggagalingan ng blueprint na yan is yung tinatawag nating discernment. And of course, with the guidance of the church. No? Yes. Diba, ang simbahan, ayan ang nag-guide sa atin kasi we know the Holy Spirit is guiding us. Yes. Para itong truth na ito ay talagang mana tayo. We discern, of course. Yes. And then, uh, tayo as a church, we discern. And then, the church is guiding us. The Holy Spirit is guiding us. Yes. Uh, sana, no, hindi lang tayo yung simbahan maging isang, parang isang tinig lang na alam yun. Ay, mm-hmm. kung ayoko yan, ayoko yan. Yes. Di ba? Dito ako sa ito kasi mas maganda ang presentation ito. Mm-hmm. Ito, meron pang maganito. Mm-hmm. Pero, I think it's deeper than that. Mm-hmm. Kaya ngayon, no, I think malapit, uh, dahil nga malapit na ang Advent, yes. kaya itong Christ the King ang ating, ang ating ngayon, King of the Universe. Yes, no? King of the Universe. And speaking of, siguro dagdag na lang, Father, dyan, yung pagiging King, especially King of the Universe, always um, related sa service. Pa. Kasi alam naman natin na Jesus Christ is... Uh, the one who serves yeah. na kaya iba klase ng hari di ba oh, yeah. ito yung hari na uh, yung binigay niya ang buhay niya yeah. ito yung hari na sumunod sa sa gusto ng Diyos yeah. at yung uh, nagpa uh, hinayaan niya mamatay siya para sa atin mm-hmm. no? talagang okay. servisyo yes okay. servisyo para sa atin at ito yung nagiging uh, oh, ito yung isang blueprint para sa atin mm-hmm. di ba no yeah. ito magiging gayahan natin no? kaya malapit na ang eleksyon yung mga kumakandidato mahalaga po no inulit-ulit namin to na maging katulad tayo ni Kristo no huwag nating isipin yung sarili natin huwag okay. kayong maghari-harian po sana ano oh. kundi sana po uh, sa inyong pagiging hari kayo yung maging abang tagapagbunod kaya alam minsan hindi mo may iwasan talagang nasa parang nasa sistema na ng mga taong mga kumakandidato minsan yun. kaya yung mga tao rin maging discerning mm-hmm. kung sino talaga yung ipiliin no okay kahit naman siguro mag-preach tayo na mag-preach sa mga kandidato ito, alam ko, hindi naman, hindi naman makikinig yung iba din. Eh, mm-hmm. Kaya ang importante rin ito, yung mga tao, maging discerning mm-hmm. at alamin at mabuti tingnan ang katotohanan ng isang ito. taong kumakandidato. Yes, and that Maganda truth is, should be based sa ating pinapaniwalaan bilang mga Christian. Yes, okay. correct. Amen! Amen. restaurant ng Balaw-Balaw. Ayan yung mga artworks ng garden. Kanilang gallery and museum. Kaya pag kumain dito, pwede ka na rin mag-check na kanilang mga artworks. Ito yan sa Angono. Marina. Entrada nila. Balaw-balaw. Ayan. Specialty restaurant. Ito ang art gallery. Dito lang yan sa Angola. Dito. Uh, before going up to Concession Hill Seminary. Sa Hills 
kami. So, ito na sa baba na yun. Ayan. Siyempre, nagpapakain, nakaupo. Oh, ayan, nagpapakain na yun. Ginataang suso. Kuhol. 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 Mga magkamali ka. Kuhol yan. Ginataang kuhol. Bala. Kuya, ano ito? Kalaw natin baro ba? Sa baboy at talong. Baboy at talong. Balaw, balaw sa baboy at talong. Ang pink na pink. Oo. Sarap yan. Ang balaw, balaw pa naman ay ano yan. Binuro. Binuro. Made of Binurong hipon Sama kita sa ano Ano yung made of ano kuya? Hipon? Hipon po Yung mayroong na balo-balo natin Is burong hipon Hipon Okay At maasim, matamis, maalat Maasim, matamis, maalat Maasim, matamis, kuya Hinutom mo ako Amoy pa lang Amoy pampagutom na Ayan Ulam pa kami ni Isa. Isa pang uh, ulam. Kaniya? Ano pa yung ulam natin na Isa? Ano yung order? Kanduli. Kanduli. Yan talaga, medyo ano yan. Yan ang kilalang kilala dito sa Anggo Norisan. Yan, specialty po nila yan. Kanduli na yan. Sinigang sa kanduli. Ito naman po. Ito naman po yung kanduli. Ano yan? Sa mis... Sinig... Ano yan? Sinigang sa kanduli. <laughs> Sinigang sa kanduli. Kanduli uh, sa miso. So, ang kanduli is a catfish, no? Catfish, yan. Oh, oh. Na nauhuli dyan sa Laguna Lake. Mm-hmm. Ayan. Okay. Kain na tayo, Padre Reza. Kain na tayo. Yun. Ayos. Hey, kakain na po kami. Ayos. Ito, simulan natin sa kanduli. Borek. Bigyan mo naman ako para makita yung pagiging servant mo. Ayan. Ayan. Eh, sabaw lang binigay mo. Bigyan mo na ako nga nung isda. Ayan, po, 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 sir. Ayan, yan. Ayan. Ay, kumapon. Ayan. Ayan. Tapos ito yung balaw. Ano? Ayan. Ito yung balaw-balaw. Ano lang sa dito? Balaw-balaw sa baboy at gulay. Ito. Ang sarap ng asim. Maasim na. Maasim. Gulay pink. Tama lang. Mm-hmm. At ito namang, uh, ito daw kung uh, balaw-balaw ay kinawag na balaw-balaw. Dahil? Dahil ito ay gawa sa binurong hipon. Ito daw po pala ang literal uh, translation ng balaw-balaw. In layman's term, no? Mas madaling uh, intindihin yung para sa ating ano, balaw-balaw sa baboy at uh, gulay. Tsaka itong kuhol. Fresh water pa rin. Actually, ito, parang pampatanggay dun siya ng umay. No. At saka yung, medyo nakakain ka ng marami-rami. Kain ka ulit nito. Babalik yung, parang gana sa pagkain. Pero ako, hindi ako yung saburo eh. Kasi ito yung parang pinipermet, di ba? Yeah. Pero ito, nakakain ko ito. Okay siya. Parang siya nga. Ang, parang, yun nga, yun yung sinasabi ko sa iyo, diba, ibang buro kasi sinasawsawan, halimbawa, like ng ito, mga pritong hito, uh, uh, pwede din siyang gawing sawsawan. Ito parang ginawa, ano, pinang, pinang isa. Oo, oh, yun, ganun, ganun na siya. Correct. At, uh, syempre, yung kuhol. Masarap din po itong uh, ginataang kuhol. At paano kinakain? Syempre, susundutin po natin. Yung iba naman, Sinusup-sup. Oo, oh, sinusup-sup po nila. Ayan, malapit na po. Ito po ang balabal. Ayan. Ito po. Sarap. Mm. Ang sarap po. Pati ng pagkakagata. Bakit maasim yung balaw-balaw? Ikaw ba naman ang buruhin? Pag hindi ko maasim yung mga lang. Ha? Ang mga pinuburo. Ah, kasi naging acidic, no? Hmm. Diba? 
Eh, kok kaya ang buru, hindi siya kaya mga asin, mga asin. Bale mo. Kasi pag siguro, pinapatagal, di ba? Never met. Kaya siguro ngayong panahon ng COVID, marami na rin dyan amoy buro. Na-permen sa loob ng ba? Duroy mo, dalawang taon ka, hindi nakalabas. So, ibig sabihin, ikaw labas ka ng labas? Hindi na, ma'am. Nabuburo din ako. Oo, tama. Kasi yung word na buro, nabuburo, mean. Oo, nabuburo. Ibig sabihin pa, nabuburo ka yan. Oo, eh kasi binuro kayo. Hindi ba, parang less ang movements. Pero kailangan kailangan magaling ka muna. Mapulin ito. Ah, pwede mo hipan. Para lumabas, sayang eh. Oo. Baka naman tumalsik sa akin yan. Madali lang naman itong hulihin. Usually, may iba nakukuha ito sa pilapil, di ba? Pero ito, mga culture na doon. Pero naalala ko, nung mga bata kami, pag bumupunta kami sa bukid, Nauhuli namin ito sa mga pilapil. Nandun lang sa tabi-tabi. Parang masarap ito kasama, ano? Mga inihaw. Inihaw nga. Tsaka mga prito. Yun, tama. Perfect partner yun. Kaya wala tayo inihaw. Pwede, gusto mo. Umorder tayo. Umorder tayo. Ngayon lang ba nila? Parang tayo chicken in your style. Parang yun. Maroon nga. Natin. Natin dami yun, sir? Oo nga. Huwag na nga lang. Kaya. Masarap siya ng mga pirito nga. Ang dala ho kayo dito. Ito po ay located sa... Sinabi ko na. Ah, sinabi mo na. O, di ko na sabihin. Alam niyo na po pala. Ito po yung malapit po seminaryo namin. Sabi ko siya, Chanil. Sinabi na ko niya, hindi ko na sabi. Sinabi na rin ho ba ni Padre dyan na dito ho ay talagang ito po ay tinaguri ang Artist's Haven. Sinabi na ho niya yun. Hindi pa. Ngayon, sinasabi ko na sa inyo. Kasi parang bagang ang dami dito mga ano ano. Talaga napaka-uusay pagdating sa larangan ng sining, no? Papa musika, si Maestro Lucio San Pedro, mga sikat po dito na mga uh, tag nagpipinta. Ayun, dinabasa ko kanina, si Bukalan. Siya may ari. Ayun na nga. <laughs> Talaga. <laughs> Sinabi mo na yun? Hindi ba? Oo, oh, ayun. <laughs> Sa alam nila. <laughs> Tapos mamaya, pupuntahan din natin, ano, isa sa mga galing na... Ah, ano ba? Gumuhit, no? Kasi gumuhit. Hmm. Ito namang ano, kukun. Hmm. May gata. Hmm. May luya. May kangkong. Hmm. Okay, nakalimutan kayo na. May sili. <laughs> Sa mga gusto siguro na maanghang, pipipiin mo yun, ano? Kailangan. Pag kumain ka rito, ready ka magkamay. Oh, may hugasan naman ho dito. Sa banda ho dito. Kaya huwag ko kayo matatakot na magkamay. Kasi hindi, hindi mo ma-appreciate. Hindi mo makakain yung gusto mo kayo na yan. Oo. Oh. Tsaka mukhang talagang kinakamay ito. Magkakinakain. Tsaka siyempre talagang iahandaan nyo lang po dito pagka kumain kayo. Yung cheat day muna kasi talaga mapapakain mo kayo ng kanin kasi masarap siyang kapartner dun sa mga ulam na yeah. order po ninyo hindi pwede ko lang kanin 